The Knoll, one of Wales' most iconic venues. It has seen many ups and downs in the past, and this year it celebrates its 150th anniversary. I, I, would, I wouldn't have wanted to play anywhere else, you know, other than all, as, a, as a kid growing up. Um, as a kid growing up, you just dreamed of playing down there. And um, our school, Dora Berlin, would, would give us opportunities sometimes to play down there. Or if you got to cup finals with, with your club team. So I, I was lucky as a youngster to play there a few times. And I absolutely loved there. And, you know, all I ever wanted to do was play rugby and play on that all. I played on it when I was a kid with uh, like uh, resolving juniors and you know and it is a massive thing. I played there with me uh, schoolboys in the Levens, I think it was, and then the fifteens. Uh, we were lucky enough to play on it then, um, and it, it was just a your childhood dream, really, to be playing on the north. I can remember going into the ground. Uh, my father used to uh, take us over to the cricket club first. Uh, he'd meet up. He'd, he'd meet up with all his friends. There's a couple of youngsters there. Um, and then we'd walk across then the cricket ground into the cow shed um, and just the atmosphere um, for, a, for, a, for a small boy uh, is, is absolutely amazing. One of the key elements to any sporting arena is the atmosphere and for the Null this is certainly no different. Oh it's brilliant you know it's, it's, it's fantastic the supporters you know I won't. I won't lie. The support has gone down. It did go down a bit, but I think it is gradually starting to pick back up. I think it was the heart and soul of the town, um, especially you know once professional rugby was being played out there. Um, it just used to attract so many people in, into the town centre, you know, for rugby and and for other things, you know, fireworks night. Um, you know, they used to have uh, various events there. So yeah, you know, as um, as, as well, as the young I used to love going there because the atmosphere was buzzing. With Neath being the birthplace of the Welsh Rugby Union, it is no surprise that the Knoll has played host to some of rugby's most iconic players. That field has had many of famous people walk on um, on it and, you know, just to be part of that history, to say, you know, they've been there, played there, done it. Um, yeah, it's great, you know, the, the Knoll is a famous ground, it still is to the day. Um, yeah, it's just, just great to be part of, you know, a small, small part of, I suppose, Neath's history. Um, obviously, the South Africa game was absolutely brutal one to watch. And uh, I remember that as a kid because, you know, it, it was a massive game. Um, the New Zealand one, obviously, I remember as like looking back more than than my time. Um, and you had like Mark uh, Jones uh, picked up late and running the show and it was, it was, it was brilliant. But um, yeah, it's, you know, I think when you say about um, uh, games against like the All Blacks and things like that, and I think uh, obviously yeah, our names, I know it's been a bit of a thing about the Welsh All Blacks and the, and the All Blacks, I think. So I think that everyone's aware about it, uh, about the club. and. And we have cre we have punched way above our weight, I think, over the years. And um, and yeah, it's it's been fantastic to watch, really, and and be part and to be part of that now, uh, that legacy in the club is is fantastic for me. It's it's an absolute honour.